Welcome to another episode of the Conspiracy Junkies Podcast. I'm joined with Fucking hell. Jose. Jose. Forgot, you forgot how to say your name. Forgot my name, bro. I forgot. <laughs> and um, hope you guys are doing good and hope you guys are going back to work and not relying on that unemployment, unemployment. you fucking junkies. Fucking, but it's funny because it's like a lot of people are like, fuck, no, I ain't going back. Yeah. <laughs> and also, too, bro, if you could, you know, up to you if you want to take advantage of that shit, bro. You know, I think you're getting 800, 900 bucks a week. Hey, bro, yeah. save that shit and just keep on. I don't want to say hustle, but keep on saving and just do you. you know, well, if you can, if, your... if, if you could like cheat the system, I'm not like telling you to do it, mm-hmm. but it's like, bro, go work somewhere under the table. And keep collecting the unemployment. Yeah, but w- where would they work? Somewhere like washing dishes somewhere, bro. Washing dishes. Waitress. But the, thing, the thing is, those who don't want to go back to work. Bro. Yeah. Well, the main thing is because when you have all they, these people that are unemployed for so much time, bro, and they get used to, like, fucking sleeping at 4 or 5 in the morning, mm-hmm. eating whatever they eating whatever they want, not going outside, you become mm-hmm. lazy, bro. So when you get back to work, it's a, it's a, it's a shock, bro. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, I don't want to go back to work. I'm making more money on employment. Yeah. And they're getting a, what, $600 bonus, I heard? Yeah, in total, they're getting, I think it's 850 to $900 a week. A week. And, hey, bro, that's a good-ass paycheck, bro. Yeah, that's like for some people, like, they don't even reach that real, some people, yeah, bro. Yeah, and I'm a little hating, so I'll come back to the slave plantation, you know. Mm-hmm. Come back, you know. And um, what, 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 what do we got on today's schedule? You're supposed to do what, it. what do we got on today's schedule, bro? Well, I don't know. You tell me. So you forgot, man. Yeah. So basically, guys, in today's schedule, we got we're gonna talk about student debt in general. It's it's, it's becoming a a pandemic of, of its own self. We got student debt. Basically, we're going. There are students right now expecting, like, yeah, I'm gonna go to college, and the outcome of me going to college is that we're I'm gonna get a good decent job after you mm-hmm. know. After after getting my college degree, but in that case, it doesn't work like that, bro. No, it doesn't work like that. And the best majors to be majoring in school right now it's either accounting, engineering, some sort of trade IT school. work. Yeah, trade school. Trade schools, uh, plumbing. Yeah, some electrician, the construction. Blue, the blue collar jobs. That's yeah. that's what many people. It's lacking workers right now, bro. Yeah. Because if everyone wants to be engineers and they're gonna. Basically, they're gonna. It's gonna be too much, you know. Yeah. It's like that. Everyone wanted to be biologists, you know. Everyone wanted to be, you could say, nurses, you know. Whatever. Yeah. There's a huge amount of people doing that major. The the value of that major is gonna decrease. Yeah. You know? There's gonna be so many people, and the chances of you getting in without knowing no one is like slim to none, bro. Yeah, I heard that these schools like Harvard, UCLA, it's not really about the sc- not really about the the degree of that paper. It's more of like they help students land jobs. You know, it's the connection that these schools yeah. have. Oh well, yeah, it's like the networking. You know. Yeah. I I believe that. I believe. I believe some factors of of knowing people and like you know, hey bro, you know, I know this guy. He's looking for an accountant. Go there. Mm-hmm. You know. It's more connections like I, like in these schools like UCLA is like the professors. You know the. They they know people, you know, mm-hmm. they know people in that business and they can maybe get you in, but you just gotta suck a lot of dick, you know. Yeah, but that's a lot of ass kissing, that's a lot of fucking yeah. being the class fucking clou- the class is bitch, bro. It's, it's like you like the teacher's say, pet. Answering every question the teacher says, laughing at the teacher's joke when you know well yeah. damn it's not funny, bro. <laughs> and that happens a lot, bro, in school. A lot of ass kissing. A lot of ass kissing, yeah. But, but, it's like, but then again, it's, it gets you somewhere, bro. You know, yeah. you're not just doing it just for the fun. You're doing yeah. it because of something. And a lot of people that are like, like have that authority and have that like power, they like that shit. Yeah. Like you ass kissing them, you fucking laughing at their weird ass jokes. And mm. they're like, you know what, bro? I'm, I like this kid. You know, I'm a yeah. fucking, I'm gonna get him a job somewhere. You know? I, I forgot to tell you, man, I wanted to keep this podcast like, like PG 13, bro, you know, so we could get, get recommended on the people's page, you know, but that. <laughs> That didn't follow through, you know? Yeah. Whatever. But, yeah, these, uh, so basically, these schools, you know, yeah, they have connections, bro. And, all right, cool. You know, what about the people that are majoring in stupid stuff, bro? Like, liberal studies, gender fucking studies, uh, creative writing, bro, fucking. Art. And right now, they're saying economics and, 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 and finance are majors that it's starting to become more, more, uh, more of a major that's not really going to land you a job anymore, bro. What do you have to say about that? Fucking. 
That's crazy, bro. Cause it's like the more the more years pass, the more um, the more years pass, bro. The majors that we were hiring like a couple years ago are not yeah. even like they're like nah, bro. We're not even hiring in that no more. You know, like we don't even need that no more. Yeah. What China and Japan do, what they do to kind of fix that, bro, is that all right, all right, motherfuckers. A lot of but a lot of people are majoring in this major. Mm. You know, let's say like gender studies. They're like no more gender studies. You know, That's if you kinda... wanna, if you wanna study gender studies, go to go to the library. All right, we had enough of this shit. You know, let's 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 uh, let's become more engineers. Let's That's become more accountants. Imagine imagine if like the world like if the U.S. was just like all right, bro. Fucking, they get all the people that just graduated high school. Who wants to go to college? All right, only fucking three hundred. All right, bro. Only fifty of you guys could graduate in school and teaching. Another fifty, you could be um, criminal justice. Another fifty, like to balance it out. To balance hey, it that's, out, bro. That's that's a smart idea, bro. You know that the United States should like kind of like consider, you know, implementing in, in their yeah, system. But, bro. I, but I feel like fuck, like it's gonna be kind of like a lot of people are gonna get triggered. Like you can't tell me what to do and this and that. Just tell me what to do. What if colleges only accepted like like. Nah, but they want they're money hungry. They want all the money they can uh, receive, yeah, bro. It's, so it's not, it's not gonna work like that. But I was saying like, oh, you know what? We're only gonna hire. We only want a hundred freshmen that are gonna major in criminal justice. We only want a hundred um, teacher majors. We only want a hundred, you know, this and that. But it's like it's not gonna work, bro. Because fucking schools are money hungry as well, bro. Yeah, schools in general, bro. It used to be back in the day, like you needed to fill out an application, you know. But now it's more like, hey, man, get in, you know, take some classes, like yeah. the sign up process, easy, bro. Mm-hmm. Back then, you needed to take like standardized test. Yeah. And like to well, cause now, they, dude, when I, when I when I went to apply to Mount Sac, bro, they had a they made me take like uh, like levels of math test, bro. I'm pretty yeah, sure so, on your yeah, two yeah, English yeah. too, like where you at? Yes. Yeah, so and now it's like, bro, you could just uh, jump into like the math, like calculus, that's you know, what's your crazy, first bro. year. Yeah. Then again, it's it's kind of a, a good idea, bro, because some yeah. people are placed in such. Let's say you wanna you wanna become an engineer, mm-hmm. you take the math test, but you suck ass on it, and yeah. you're like in a low low ass level, so and it's gonna you, take you. Chill out a year just to get to calculus. And you, you gotta know? keep paying for every class, yeah. books, every class, you know. And then those math, those math, those low scoring math classes are the worst, bro. I've scored like almost second, third to last. They're like three hours long, bro. And it's like, just imagine you gotta start from the bottom, bro. And you gotta take fucking all these math classes, yeah. bro, before you can even test to skip. Because there's a certain point where you you take a test, bro. Like, let's say you, you were the last one, the last mm-hmm. uh, math. You pass two maps, and then you can retest and see if you're on the top. You get me? So yeah. it's like, but now it's like you could just take the math, the, the math that you need, so you could transfer yeah. out. I feel like it's good because now it's like, all right, I'm gonna be taking math either way throughout my whole major. Might as well just start on the one that I really need the most and the one that gets transferred. You know, the one, the ones that they yeah. really use. And uh, fucking firecrackers are. Yeah. Uh, it's bad right there, here. There, there's some dude that just. Check this out, guys. You know, there's some dude that just parks like close to our house, right? Yeah, it's um, some dude in a white truck. Some dude bro. in a white truck. Yeah, it's a, it's a little. It's like his, his dad's truck. Let's say, let's yeah. let's break it down. It's his dad's truck. It's a little chunky fat kid. He picks up his friend, and I don't even know where he's getting all these illegal ass fireworks, yeah. but he's just going block but they're to block. They're having the best bro. time of their lives, bro. They're, yeah, just tell me, bro. Like, if you didn't have no payments, no house payment, no car payment, would you be doing that with your friends, bro? Stupid shit like that, yeah. Probably, bro. And, like, you guys, it's like, and they just drive around every block, bro. Every block, like, from, from the block that they started right here in front of our house, they keep going all the way, just blowing up fireworks, bro. And, like, damn, it's, like, it makes you think, like, man, like, they're living the life, you know? They're living the life, bro. And, and it's funny because it's, like, they stay in the truck for, like, multiple hours, bro, just yeah. smelling each other's asses, bro. Like, I don't know if they're banging each other, bro, you know? Let's not get into that. Yeah. What is it? That, that <laughs> homosexual vibe, you know. What assuming, is assuming stuff that's not happening, but it's like, yeah, bro. And it's like, what's crazy, bro? That right here in Fontana, bro. Fontana, like in like out of the whole San Bernardino County, bro. Bro, it's it's with the most complaints on fireworks, the most confiscated fireworks, and the most tickets handed, bro. Hmm. So it's like, what the fuck's going on right here in Fontana, bro? Like they're not playing, bro. Like they're snitching on people. They're like, you know what, my neighbors having this kind of fireworks. Yeah. Like they're not playing, bro. After the podcast, I'm about to snitch on them too, right yeah. now, bro. <laughs> and it's like, I feel like fireworks. They're cool, bro. But it's like, just do them on Fourth of July. Why are you doing them like? You yeah. Know? I understand. And I'm why surprised they're... no one has told them like, hey, bro, like, stop doing that shit. You know? Yeah. Cause me, as long as, 
as long as they're not like affecting me you know they're not coming around the, like our property yeah you know and they're not yeah. fucking with us bro that's mm-hmm. when i'm not gonna fuck with them yeah you know so that's on your own case yeah if, if they don't want to um, if they don't want to tell or anything like that but i feel like more people are like they don't want to deal with the cops bro yeah it and it's and it happens a lot in the Hispanic and the and the black community, bro. They don't want to like, kind of like. They don't want to fuck with cops. They don't want to fuck with cops with associated with cops, bro. Sad, bro. But it's like, fuck. That's the, those are the times we live in, bro. Like these, like I've seen it, bro. Like uh, they just don't want to talk to them, bro. They don't want to affiliate themselves. They don't want to yeah. snitch on their neighbor for playing loud music. They'll rather just go. They'll rather just deal with it than calling the cops. And that's what the cops are here for, bro. They're here. To protect us, to serve us, bro. They're community servants, bro. And a lot, a lot of people don't know that, bro. That's yeah, so what they get paid, bro. Yeah. Honestly. It's like you you think, if you think that people are, um, are in your parking lot or in your car, you feel like something happened, bro, call the cops. But don't just call 911. Call the non-emergency number, you know? Yeah, yeah that's a good, that's a valuable yeah. source to be using, bro. You could tell Joel from why not to call the, the, the 911. <laughs> Remember when you called 911? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I called because, uh, check this out. So they try to break into our parents' house, you know, and an hour had passed, you know. And I called, like, the, the emergency one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told him, like, hey, you know, I was wondering if you guys like, could, like, check around the block, you know, just walk around, you know, suspicious activity, you know, because yeah. some dude tried to break in the car. She's like, when did this happen? I'm like, it happened an hour ago, you know? Yeah. Then, then why are you calling? Why you, she was like, that bitch tried to give me attitude, you know? Yeah. Why you, then, then why are you calling an hour after? Yeah. I'm like, hey, bitch, well, I was at work, you know? I didn't tell her, like, hey, bitch, you know? Yeah, but yeah, I was yeah. like, hey, man, I was at work, all right? Yeah. I'm on break. I have time to call now. I'm going to call, you know? Yeah. And I told her, too, I'm like, hey, I'm like, you don't have to be too disrespectful, you know? Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just trying to do my job. I'm like, well, you're sounding like it. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because it's like, bro, like, they, they have this, this like, oh, yeah, you kind of fucked up, too, Joe, because you called the emergency number, bro. Yeah, true. You, you, you were at fault, too, bro, but it doesn't mean that two wrongs make a positive, bro. You know, mm-hmm. it's like... Yeah, you called the non-emergency number, bro. You called the the 911, bro, which is for emergencies, bro. Yeah, yeah you did call that. She was probably, like, thinking that someone got shot, someone she got killed. She wanted to give me attitude, yeah. bro. You know, I don't like that shit, bro. Yeah, but it's, like, guys, like, out there, bro, the cops are there to serve us, bro. You know, you, you think something yeah. happened. You, you think someone um, is looking around, looking suspicious, bro. Just make, call the non-emergency number, bro. Tell them what's going on, bro, and yeah. they'll search it, bro. They'll, oh, yeah. And it's funny because the non-emergency girls are girls and guys, they're, like, all cool. Like, yeah, bro, okay. Well, we'll, we'll get a... We'll get an officer we'll, on we'll your way. We'll get an officer on our way, yeah. And it's, like, they don't they don't give you attitude. They don't give you... They treat, you know, they treat you with the, with the most respect. Yeah. And check this out, guys. The gyms are opening when? Tomorrow. When that lands on what? The 15th of June. June. So I better see you guys starting to get familiar with the gym. You know, start caring about your bodies. Yeah. You know? I don't want that. What is it, that? Plus size shit positively. Yeah. That shit out of my face, you yeah. know? Right. Get that shit out of my face, you know, before I slap you. Fucking know? just clothesline them. Yeah, gyms are, gy- gyms are opening up. A lot of people are gonna be happy, bro. A lot of people, a lot of people that were committed and they they love the gym. They genuinely love right working here, bro. out, bro. Right here, and the thing is, like, dude, it's been three months, guys, and it's like I need this in my life, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like for the, for the people that go to the gym, I know you guys can relate mm-hmm. with me. It's something. It's 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 beyond like. It's just something to do, bro. Something to kill, and it makes. And you look at your body, yeah. you know, you're building muscle. You're like, damn, I look good. You look in the mirror, start, like, damn, who's that? Start getting fucking confidence. Not calling yourself daddy in the mirror and shit. Yeah, bro, that shit's life changing, man. This, this kid's getting hard off of this shit, dude. And this shit's it's a passion, bro. Yeah, and, it, and it's a, it's good, bro. It's been it's three like, months, bro. It's like a lot of people that go to the gym, bro. They really stress, bro. They release. They release like. Pent up aggression, bro. If yeah, you don't believe that, a, bro, it's like a it's like a crackhead, bro. Crackhead and his crack, bro. Yeah, you crack can't like crack. once you take away the crack, it's like who am I as a person, bro? It's yeah. like when they took away the gym, like who am I, bro? Yeah. They am fucking I, am, stole a part of your identity, yeah. bro. They fucking am they I, stole yeah. you of something, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. And I'm I'll start to uh, question myself, you know. Am I like what am I turning into? You know, am I turning into like one of these gender fluids? What's going yeah. on, bro? Like, you know. Um, <laughs> fucking transforming into a fucking next level and I'm shit. Like, what's going on, bro? You went from level ten to like level five and shit. Yeah, and it's dude. um and it's like yeah, gyms are opening up. But it's like I heard that it was only gonna be what, Planet Fitnesses? 
And it's only Sun this too? week. This week, Planet Fitness is opening up. So the one right here in Fontana and Ontario, uh, one in Chino, that's the one that I know of that yeah. are opening up June 15. June 15. And for 24 Fitness, that's the gym that I got. Mm-hmm. Uh, now that gym is opening up the Friday, the 22nd of June. So if and you guys have Planet Fitness, then pretty sure you guys could work get a good workout in tomorrow work. but how do you think it's gonna be bro like you don't think they're just gonna throw everyone in there are they gonna be are they gonna have like you gotta wear a face mask you gotta it's have hand the, sanitizer what, what do you think it's nah, gonna be it's bro? the shit we talked they're gonna have hand sanitizer provided mm-hmm. you know in the place right there but the thing is that we talked about in the last podcast or even the one before is that they're not gonna let a shit little people in it makes sense. It's bro. gonna be a mass capacity of like like a crowd control kind of yeah, twenty five percent, fifty percent or more. But hey, if you guys are want to change your health, you know, want to change your life in a way, man, do the gym, bro. Do the gym, mm-hmm. and like, don't be discouraged of like, oh, you know, I'm not. Yeah, I'm. I don't have the body that 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 I want right now. But the thing is, you could change it. Yeah. You know, you have the power to change it. You got the power to fucking get McDonald's, but you got the power to go to the gym, bro. You yeah, know? it's the same. It's the same thing, bro. It's the same, uh, same concept. And when like doing anything, bro, you know, it's like you have the choice to do it. You have the choice not to do it, bro. Which one do yeah. you want to choose, bro? And me, hey, bro, I'm gonna be there like six times a week, dude, because mm-hmm. I miss that shit, bro. Yeah. And I know a lot God of people, feel, and, I, and I know a lot of people out there feel the same way as you, bro. They're fucking, they're desperate for the, they're, 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 um, they're tired of all those people price gouging for weights and shit. Dude, those <laughs> tell people. Us, tell us about the bench that you bought for fucking ninety bucks. Yeah, there was a there was a bench that I got. It was a gym equipment, right? Mm-hmm. A bench came with a bench, a bar, and like, in total, leg. the bar was like uh, it, it had a little leg leg, leg, press, dude. leg extension too, mm-hmm. right? And that shit was around. Yeah, I, I think I got 80 to 90 bucks, no over 100. Mm-hmm. And I seen last week or even two weeks ago is that the price of that uh, that bench was around 400 to 600 dollars. So they price gouged the shit out of it. And like, bro, it's like it's only a hundred pounds bench, bro. Like, and you, and you know what's crazy, bro? Let's say like you never worked out in your life, bro. You uh, don't know about gym equipment. You don't know, oh, like you never like looked at like you were always on like. Like fucking like oh what's the next phone what's the next PS4 and now you're into gym and you don't and you never yeah. knew that 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 weight that you bought for five hundred bucks was back in the day a hundred bucks. Let's say you you never bucks. knew, bro. You didn't know. And you think you're getting a good deal, and then like your yeah. homie your homie Jimmy who's been working out for two years comes and he's like, I put just real shit out of you. He's like, like, how much, bro? You got fucking ripped off. And he doesn't even he doesn't even lift your weights, bro. He just says, you know what, bro? Like that's it, bro. Gym are open, you know, bro. I don't need yeah. to hang out with you. And um, what do you got to say for that, bro? The people that get bamboozled, bro, they don't know, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of like people getting taken advantage of, you know, people that it's they're not really knowledgeable in that type no. of information, you know? Yeah. And that's what's been happening in, in the fitness industry, right? Like a lot of fitness YouTubers, bro, they're like, oh, buy my program if you're trying to get big like yeah. me, bro. But it's like, bro, you're on roids, bro. Chill out. And, and it's funny because it's like everyone gets those videos, bro. That one dude that's always eating an In-N-Out burger, that's bro. The, there's two there's two, two guys that, that show up like in the fitness what's, industry what's that, the, have, that have ads. What's the guy that's always like, it doesn't matter what you eat. And he's all eating an In-N-Out cheeseburger like, food, like, food. Get the fuck out of my feed, bro. There's uh, what's, what's his name, bro? He's called the. Uh, and I know there's an Asian dude too, bro. The Asian dude, uh, what's his name? Fuck, man, I'm having a fucking brain fart right now. But yeah, but, but it's, just, it's some white dude and yeah. some Asian dude. I, I forgot their the, fucking the, names. They'll get the they they've seen it before, bro. Yeah, they know sure what we're talking about. But it's like a lot of these people that are like fuck. Let's say like they're they're a little bit on the. A little bit on what? On the on the chunky side, a little bit on the skinny side. You know, it's like, and they look at these videos, bro, of this dude that's ripped, bro, and they're like, you know what, bro, maybe I should buy his program, bro, you know? Mm-hmm. Maybe I should look into his program, and they pay, like, all this money, not knowing that they could have just earned it by themselves, you know? Yeah. Or looked at other people who's free and gotten ideas from them, and it's like, fuck. But it's like, yeah, bro, like, I always think about, like, the people that weren't aware of how much, um, how cheap the gym equipment was before, bro. Yeah, I mean, once you, if you're not knowledgeable in that subject, bro, yeah. it's it's easy to be taken advantage. And right? it, and it and it goes out with everything, bro. Let's say you're not well aware of of cars, 
and they sell you a BMW. When everyone thinks about a BMW, they're like, oh, BMW, it's fancy, fancy car. But it's like not knowing that 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 BMW is only like a two thousand dollar car, and they sold it to you for five, six thousand. Yeah. And once, even for like these, uh, once you're TR, the process of buying a car, right? Mm -hmm. You buy the car, you get an APR, you know, and then you get the total amount. You gotta pay the mm -hmm. monthly payments and all that, bro. You mm -hmm. know, keep in mind when you buy a car, if it, if you're comfortable paying that every month, then get fine, it. Bro. Why not? By all means, bro. Yeah. But remember that once a car leaves the fucking lot, bro, fifty percent already depreciates. Like and it's fifteen fun. to twenty five. Yeah. And it's funny because it's like when you try to sell it back or you're, you're like, yeah. let's say you pay off your truck, bro, and you're like, hell yeah, it's probably gonna, it's probably still worth a couple, of, you know, 15, 16,000. And you go back to the same dealer that you bought it and they give you a price. And they're like, and they, they're like they look at you they're like, oh, we'll get it for two grand. It's like, you know? it's like the Three same, grand. it's like GameStop, but in the cars, bro. Like GameStop's yeah. like, oh, you got a PS4, you got an iPhone in there. Yeah, we're, we're going to give you like 20 bucks. You got 40 games. You got two controllers for the PS4. It's like, let me see. And let me, let me talk to my, my manager, Todd. And let me see how much we could, I could give you for it. He comes back with his manager and he's like, 20 bucks. That's all I could do. Take it or leave it. 25. What is it? 25 cash? And what is No, no. <laughs> 20, it's going to be like, okay, they're going to give you 40 bucks, but it's like 20 is going to be cash, 20 is going to be store credit. Store bro. credit, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> and it, and it's funny because it's like, bro, that happens in everything, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, the only thing that's not going to go down, bro, is property, bro. It, yeah, I agree with Sean on, on that because usually uh, on properties, like we've seen that over the years, it tends to appreciate rather than yeah. depreciate. Depreciate, yeah. Right? And yeah, let's say if uh, if one of your cities, you know, they start building like malls and shit, start improving the Ooh. place, it's like, all right, your house is not worth yeah. a couple. People thousand. are like, dude, this is a nice, nice neighborhood, nice city. Like, mm -hmm. all right, let me let me try to get a house around here. Yeah. Everyone's and gonna try to buy a house yeah. around, and the price is just gonna increase because yeah. everyone wants to like, live there now. Like what's going or like for example, what's going on over there in um, Ontario, bro? Remember, even houses that are like, you know, we've lived our whole life in Ontario, bro. Yeah. So it's like we see what's in Ontario, bro, the mall. What else is in Ontario? A water park? What else is in Ontario, bro? Like what? More than a thousand warehouses? Yeah. Maybe more? Work. Work. So it's like these people don't want to drive far, so they're like, oh, let me look at a house in Ontario. And how are or the houses in rent. Ontario, bro? They're pretty expensive. And once you start going down even more to LA, the yeah. prices are just ridiculous, outpriced. But and the thing is, it's now you're starting to... Uh, now you're starting to think like, hey man, is it even worth it? Yeah. I could get a house right here in Fontana, like way cheaper. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because it's like the more it's like it's funny, bro, because it's like the more down you go by where like San Bernardino, Fontana, Rialto, Colton, cheap. You mm -hmm. start going more to Ontario, Pomona, fucking what is it, fucking all these cities over there, bro. And it's like, bro, the price is like way different, bro. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what do you got to say about that? What do you got to say about the people that... Because it's like, I know a lot of people that work in LA, bro, and they live here, bro. Why? Because LA County pays more. Yeah, and also you got to keep in mind, those dudes are stuck in traffic <laughs> in the morning. Traffic is a fucking ass. I remember when I was, going to, I was going to school in the mornings for my econ class, bro. There was a fucking car crash probably like every day I went to school or every Tuesday and Thursday when I had an econ class, economics class. Yeah. And it's like, damn, bro, one day that shit could be me, you know, but good thing I got insurance, you know, yeah. I'm driving safe. I'm doing the best thing I can to be very cautious. You're, yeah, but it's like, you're staying cautious. What about Billy that's eating a cheeseburger and texting his girlfriend? Well, if Billy crashes into me, you know, like, I feel better have insurance too, you know. I'm going to take that fool, take that fool out of the car, beat the shit out of him, and probably eat his cheeseburger after. Eat his you cheeseburger, know? text his girlfriend, and be like, that's my girlfriend now. You don't got insurance, yeah. bro? No, I'm going to take care of her, bro. Because if you can't get insurance, <laughs> that ain't your girl. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's crazy, but it's like, bro, like, even, you could be the safest driver, bro, you could be, but it's like, bro. Yeah, you got to watch out your yeah. surroundings, you know. I like, feel like, I feel like. You got you got to watch out your surroundings, bro. You got to watch like even if your light is green, bro. Still double check, bro. Check your left, check your right, bro. That's what I always do, bro. Even on green lights, bro. Yeah. Cause it's like, bro, you never know when some dude's gonna be yeah. like. Night night time too. Night time, check this out. So at night, there's a lot of dudes because there's less of a traffic. No one's really driving at night. A lot of dudes tend to skip the stop. Yeah. You know, skip, skip the, the stop, stop and just keep on going forward because they think like, oh, there's no cars around. Yeah. You know, but. But then they don't see your car. That's a black car. Maybe yeah. you have lighter lights. They don't see you. They take you out. 
Yeah. Just crash collision right there. Crash bro. collision. That's bro. when accidents happen, bro. Yeah. Because of careless things, bro. Because people start. Because of careless fucking stupid ass people, people in this bro. world, bro. Yeah. And we gotta, we gotta say how it is, bro. So there's a lot of stupid people there's in this world. A lot of stupid people that should not have license, bro. Yeah. Or do they even have licenses? That's the real question. I doubt Some it. Some of them don't, bro. And some don't even have insurance too. Some don't have insurance. So what are you gonna do when they crash into you, bro? And they flee. <laughs> hey, check this out, guys. If you look. I'll, we're, me and Jose were talking in the car and we're mm-hmm. talking about how like let's say a guy hits you you know a person a, a vehicle hits you right and he tries to flee away mm-hmm. you know what I would do is if you don't have a dash cam and you already captured you know that's why dash cams are really fucking important to have in your car shout out to fucking Xavier he's yeah. the one that told me to get a fucking dash cam and check this out if you don't have a dash cam chase the fucking driver and take a picture of his fucking plates dude mm-hmm. And once you take a picture of his plates, pull over, that's call it. the cops, that's and that's it. it, bro. That's it, bro. There's no reason why you should be tailgating right behind him because it's like, okay, let's say you're you're fucking chasing him, bro. You're chasing him down. Red light stops. You're running all the stops, you and, could you, just hit, cr- and you kill yeah. someone. You could get into another car accident. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could involve another person that yeah. should be involved in the like, situation. Bro, like, that car is going to be registered to someone, bro. You get me? Mm-hmm. Let them Let them think that they beat you, bro. Yeah. Because it's like you have the, you're going to make a. You got the evidence, bro. You got the evidence, That's all bro. You need. They're going to, the police are going to investigate as a hit and run, mm-hmm. which is really bad, bro. Which is, which it is. Which is really bad, bro. Because you're fleeing the scene, bro. Yeah. You're fleeing from hitting someone, bro. And now you could just be like, bro, you know what? My back, my back it doesn't, ain't the same. <laughs> get a chiropractor, yeah, get everything, bro. There's a, man. Keep a lookout, guys. There's a lot of good law firms. I got a, a, a shitload of good lawyers, mm-hmm. bro, that. If something happens like this, bro, take advantage of the situation for that motherfucker for fleeing, you know, and get a case again, you know, and that's going to benefit you, bro. Because if that mother, look, if that motherfucker flees the scene, bro, that was a guilty ass fucking criminal automatically, bro. Automatically, bro. Automatically. Either he doesn't have a license, either he doesn't have his insurance, or he could be drunk, bro. Yeah. In many cases, bro, they flee the scene because they're drunk. Yeah. Advice. To young men, uh, number one in this podcast would be when buying a car, don't take it out of the fucking dealer, bro. Try That's, to pay cash, bro. Try to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Can... Don't don't make the same mistake I did. Mm-hmm. You know, this is... Same mistake that a lot of people made, bro. Yeah, a lot of people make this mistake too, mm-hmm. bro. But get a car that's worth 20 grand plus and just pay and just monthly payments are around... 400 to 500 dollars bro mm-hmm. in my opinion guys yeah the car is cool bro because i got a challenger guys right the car don't get me wrong bro the car looks good bro and it's gonna last me for a while but the thing is if you're going to school you know you gotta if you're taking hard classes like i was you know it's not fucking worth stressing out man because it's like a lot of these people like a lot of these people, bro, they take out cars that are like, bro, even what, what about the people that have like $800 payments, bro? $600 payments, bro? Yeah. You and think they have the chance to go to school, bro? It's, Fuck, it's, no, it's fucking gonna... tough, bro. If you're going to school, bro, get a little beat up car, yeah. bro. A little Honda or a little, what is it? The Chevy Corollas? Is the, the Corollas. Sh- the Corollas? The, it's going to be the Honda Civics, which are the cheapest ones, bro. The Corollas. The Camrys. And the Camrys, yeah, bro. Yeah. And those last for the longest, bro. Those push, bro. Yeah, man. And you're a college student. No one expects you to be fucking rich. No one expects no. you to even have a good car already, no. bro. You're building for a guy. You're building yourself up as a man, bro. You're getting a career. Yeah. And once you have the career, bro, you can even save up a little and get that shit straight yeah. full cash. So let's say let's say um, an advice that you would kind of give people, bro, if, if school is something you want to do full time, I would highly recommend you guys to just get a beater, bro. Yeah, get a... Stri- focus on school. Put, that way you don't got to keep working. That way you don't got to have a, a car payment. Some people are blessed, bro, because they actually, um, the parents actually help yeah. them, bro, and they have them on their, on their plan. So they pay the insurance. All they got to do is just pay the car payment, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like if your parents are, uh, if your parents are deciding you, or if are if your parents are helping you out, take out a car for you, you know. Don't fucking complain if it's a Honda Civic or it's a fucking Camry. Ass don't fucking, fucking complain, bro, because like me and Jose, oh yeah, Jose, you did have the opportunity to get a, a passed on car, but what happened to it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, I actually got a, what was it, a Mazda 66. Yeah. We had just finished eating Mexican food. We got pulled over yeah. because my dumb ass stopped in the middle of the road thinking no one was behind me. And plot twist, it was a cop behind me. And um, I tried to play it off. 
try to play it off and say my car overheated, but right away, bro, the cop was like, nah, right, let me see your fucking license yeah. and registration. And back then, you didn't have a license. I didn't have a license, bro, but the, what was kind of fucked up, bro, and the cop was a dick, but the cop taught me taught me a lesson, bro. Taught you, me a lesson, bro, that your, I'm a... your fucking yeah, license, right? The, the, I kinda, I'm kind of grateful for the cop, bro, because he taught me a fucking lesson, bro. But yeah, back to the story, how I was mm. saying, bro... Um, he straight up like he didn't want he didn't want nothing to do with my story. He was like, "Let me see your license and registration." Yeah. My registration was good. Insurance was kept up, but fucking, I didn't have a license, bro. It was um, I had gotten my permit, but I didn't pass the driving one. Yeah. So I had it for like four or five months, and they give you a big ass grace period, bro. But my fucking ass procrastinating, fucking putting everything to the side, bro, cost me a car. And the guy was like, "We're gonna tow the car," and I was like, "Dude, my my passenger seat." was the driver for the whole day like just let him drive the car and he was like no and i'm like can i at least call someone like he's like no like it's towed yeah well you said that the officer taught you a lesson right i feel like if you didn't get that car taken away you would have like what not get your license not be i probably would have said like i probably would have okay i probably would have said bro like you know what i'm gonna get my license probably either way like if he would have let me off with a warning Mm -hmm. he would have been like i would have been like all right like you know like i'm gonna get my shit together Yep. But if you were to take away the car, also a learning experience that I learned. I right away got my license. Right away, I got a car. And right away, I started becoming a little bit more responsible, bro. So I kind of thank the cop, you know. But it's like, did he really need to tow the car? No. But look look where you're at now. Yeah. I mean, you, you think you made the right decision? The cop? I feel look, like... Look at, look at where you are right yeah, now, bro. I feel like, yeah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed in what yeah. I have. I'm blessed in what a lot of things happen. A lot of negative things have happened in my life. But it's like... I'm kind of blessed they happen because yeah. it's like look at me now bro you got your license yeah. and, shit. Life. and that kind of kind of motivated me too you know uh, to get, getting my license as well kind of motivated my dad too getting his license as well right yeah motivated a lot of people because it's like bro a lot of people are blessed to have the cops that are like ah you know what bro like i'm gonna give you a warning bro but a lot of Let's... people get the cops that are like nah bro we're towing yeah. your shit bro <laughs> and they and they they, they get like they get hard off of that shit, bro. They do, bro. And we were just like, you were, I remember you talking shit up to that. Yeah, He's yeah. like, you really have nothing better to do than, you know, there's a, and it's funny because it's like, there's like literally like that cop had to go like around the corner and he probably would have found a crackhead. Mm. He probably would have found like a, like a drug deal. Like, but he just picked on us and mm. took a car. Picked on some youngsters, hating on, on the, some, hating on the new generation. Hating you know? on the new generation. And it was an old cop too. And the funny part is like. It's like, oh, race and this and that, bro. He was a Mexican yeah, cop. Yeah, he, he was a Mexican cop as well, Yeah, bro. so it's like... Straight, so straight it's straight like, up, man. And it was a white cop, too. I feel like the white cop was more understanding, bro. He was like... Yeah. He was to let me, like... He was like... <laughs> like, he wanted to let me go, bro. But his partner was like, nah, yeah. bro. We, we taking your yeah, car, taking bro. And it's, uh, it's funny, but it's like, yeah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed in what's going on right yeah, now. Yeah, and that's good. That's good to see it in that way, bro, as... as seeing as something bad that happened in your life you turn that into a positive yeah and, it, and it's funny because it's like all these people have bad um experiences with cops and shit mm. and they because of that one experience they kind of like shape their mind into you know what bro like i'm not gonna fuck with cops yeah they set the group apart and automatically yeah. uh declare that group as something bad you know as, yeah, as all of bad. them being bad but we're talking about the advice thing right let's go back to it yeah, if, you're, if you're going to school right and you're trying to get like a good ass car just to impress your buddies, your friends. Like, hey, bro, it's, it's not worth it. Bro. It's not worth it, bro. It's worth it for like a month, but yeah. the second month, bro, nah, dude. It's like the the, the best advice I could get someone. Yeah, the car payment. Yeah, the car. Um. Yeah, the car does like kind of like improve your credit. It does improve your credit. Your mm. credit's moving. You know, you're starting your credit at a young age. Yeah. But yet, like, if you're if you want to go to school and school something that you want to do, just get a beater, bro. You just get a beater, focus on school, hustle on school, get your get your education, educa- yeah. get your fucking um, associates, get your bachelor's with the beater. And when you have your career, bro, you whip whatever the fuck you want to whip, bro. Yeah, and that's a... Uh, yeah, once you're well-suited, bro, once you yeah. have a, a career career, right? Career career, bro. You could get whatever you want, bro. Yeah. If you're trying to be in a shitload of debt, that's on you, bro, you know? Yeah. But good thing you had that career. Uh, a good amount of income, bro. Yeah. Cause it's like a lot of people when they get a car, they're like, "Yeah, I'm trying to start my credit." Like, bro, there's other alternatives, yeah, other bro. And other people credit. don't know that. Okay, if you if you don't want, let's say you got a beater, you still want to improve your credit. That's fine. Go to Target. I know Target gives out credit. Wells Fargo's Chase. If you tell them you want a 
the thing the thing that I kind of fucked up is that at, uh, first I had a what bank did I have? It was you had... what's the first first bank? It wasn't Bank of America. It wasn't Bank of America. It was U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank. Yeah. I should have looked. I closed you the the bank account U.S. Bank because I told those motherfuckers I'm like, hey, I want a credit card, you know. Yeah. But those was, they never told me about a secured credit card, and I'm pretty sure every bank, could, uh, every bank does this. Mm-hmm. You give them two hundred fifty dollars, and they give you back a credit that has two hundred fifty dollars, right? And that's your limit, two hundred fifty dollars. And throughout, uh, let's say three months, four months, they see like, all right, this motherfucker could pay his 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 uh, his monthly right. payments, yeah. right? So that they trust you now and they extend your no what I the, the shit that they do is they give you back the two fifty and then they extend it to five hundred so yeah. you, so you get your money back even if you don't pay it your fucking money you know yeah, in the beginning yeah. and like dude I should have told them be like hey man I want a secured credit card yeah. and to build your credit you could build it super super easy yeah. you get a credit card you buy fuck your groceries and just pay it back Straight every off, every bro. month, bro. Every month, yeah. Everything. Yeah. And that's how you build credit, bro. Also, too, how you could build credit is is um, bro, Wells Fargo, bro. When I opened my Wells Fargo, bro, I went in there, bro. I told them I was a um, college student. They asked like, what was the average FAFSA money I was getting? I told them how much I was getting, and they gave me a credit card. They approved me for a credit card right there and there, bro. Yeah. So it's like, and I know a lot of people that get a lot of money from FAFSA. They get a good chunk amount of from FAFSA. Yeah. It's like, why do you got to work for that? Focus on your school. Grind on your school. That's your grind, you know? Yeah. You don't got to focus. You don't got to stress yourself about work. You don't got to offload traders like the homies have yeah, done. Yeah. You know, you don't got to do none of that, bro. Just focus on school. That's your grind. Yeah. Be happy yeah. with your dad's Corolla. Be happy yeah. with your dad's. Yeah. If, I was, if I would have gotten a, a beater passed down, bro, I would have been happy with it, bro. Mm-hmm. Can't complain on that. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like, like Jose, you mentioned, bro. As a college student, no one expects to have the best fucking car mm. in the fucking world, dude. Who the fuck cares, bro? And you, sh- and you shouldn't care what other people think. And don't be. And, and then also, sorry to interrupt, Joe, but it's like, and don't be ashamed with the fucking car you're driving. Yeah. Don't fucking be ashamed, bro. If you if you park your car, bro, in a brand new fucking Lexus or whatever the fuck you guys like, bro, parks next to you. Don't be a, don't be ashamed. Like what? Yeah. This is this. You you're, like don't be ashamed, bro. Don't let. You know, don't be like, oh, he has a Lambo or he has, nah, bro, like, focus on your grind, bro. Yeah. Do what you got to do on your grind, bro. And then later on, bro, grind to the point that, except of talking about like, oh, like, damn, he has a Lamborghini. Nah, like how we said in multiple episodes, bro, how can you get that? Sh- how can you yeah, get the how Lamborghini? How can you get the Lamborghini? Do you really want the Lamborghini? Then you're going to have to get a job that could afford that Lamborghini. Yeah. Get that engineer major, bro. That shit's hard as fuck, but if you really want it, if you'll you find really, a yeah. way. That's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of these people make excuses, like, oh, his dad probably gave it to him. I'm not going to have it. Okay, fuck it. You know? Like, no, bro. You want you want a Lamborghini? But you want a Lamborghini, but you want to be a fucking, uh, fucking Chicano study major, you know? You're not going to fucking, you're not going to cross-match that, you know? Yeah. If you want to get a Lamborghini, bro, you got to think of something. You got to think of something. You got to be a businessman. You got to be, you know, an engineer, like you said, bro. You got to be something, bro, a corporate manager. You know, you got to be something. That's going to get you yeah. to that number. You could be, check this out, you could get your CPA license, be a certified personal accountant, mm-hmm. or uh, an account of some kind, you know, it could be a CFA, uh, okay. no, CFP, a certified, what is this, a certified financial planner, mm-hmm. or look, you work for someone for four to five years, you get around how the business works, start your own little firm. You start your own business. You get your own accountants. You know, you create a business of your own. Yeah. And um, that's going to put you closer in getting that Lamborghini, bro. Yeah. You become, or even an engineer, you become an industrial engineer. You see how the business works. You, and you're like, you know what? I'm trying to start my own in, in, in industry. industry engineering business. And that's how it works, bro. That's how it, that's like, I think it's like 60% of how people become businessmen. They see something. They see something in their field that they could fix and they could they could improve, even if it's engineering or whatever the fuck you study, bro. They see the problem. They're like, I could fix that shit, but my boss ain't, my my my, my boss doesn't really care about it. You know, I'm gonna start my own business and I'm gonna fix it myself, bro. Yeah. And that's what's good because it's like, okay, whatever job you land in, bro, you're not gonna be there permanently. Yeah. You get me? You wanna learn the you go you wanna learn their program, you wanna learn different things, different how they deal with the business, how they handle the business. And it's like if they later on in the future they don't wanna give you more money, that's when you're like, you know what, bro, like I feel like um for example, bro, like you're working at 
Mickey D's, for example, yeah. or you or at a warehouse, bro. Or you're working at like for us, we're, we we we're in the DC distribution centers. You know, we we handle that. That's, that's what we work in, bro. Yeah. And it's um, you, you're at a warehouse, bro, and they're paying you fucking fifteen bucks, sixteen bucks, and you get the experience. You become so good. You start giving out ideas. Mm-hmm. You start being a uh, asset of the team. And now they don't want to give you more money. That's when you're like, all right, I'll just apply somewhere else, you know? Because there's other, there's going to be, yeah. Because that's always, that's what everyone should strive for, bro. At the end of the day, bro. You're right. How, how am I, how, you know, I've done everything right. Can I have more money? No. Okay. There's going to be another company around there that are going to be like, they're looking for people like that. Yeah, and don't be afraid to ask uh, raises no. for your job for your no, boss. Do not. Don't don't be afraid. Be like, you know what? Like, I've been working here for two years, three years. I, I'm pretty sure I need a raise. And yeah. be, be confident, bro. And but like, but but then don't be asking a raise if you miss every day, if mm-hmm. you're late every day, if you have, if you're the wackest worker. You'll at, you'll know if you need a raise or yeah. not, bro. You mm-hmm. you'll know, bro. Yeah. And the thing is, like, most employers they they. They're like, yeah, they give it to you, they bro. They do, bro. But the That's thing crazy. that, the thing that, uh, what happens is that they don't really give it out. They they don't really give out raises because no one really asks for them, and that's what's happening in a lot of corporate, uh, corporate jobs, bro. They're too scared to be like, hey, man, yeah. pretty sure I'm worth more. Yeah. I need a raise. And it's funny because it's like a lot of people are scared, bro. They're like, oh, I don't want to give them. I don't want to talk to them. You know, it's like, no, tell them. Break it down, bro. If you if you're there every day, if you've been grinding for that company for three years, go to your manager, go to your supervisor, be like, hey, you know what? Um, I feel like the work that we're doing is like worth a little bit more money, yeah. or at least tell them well, how can we earn more money? What can we do to improve this mm-hmm. so that we could earn more money? Yeah, you'll you'll know if you deserve a raise. You know, you're you're, you're the only person that honestly should know because you're the one that works there. You're the yeah. one that fucking goes uh, to that job every day. But let's say like. The people, the laziest people are the ones asking for raises. What do you got to say about that? I feel like it's more... I don't feel like that happens. I feel like I often... Feel like I've, I've, yeah. I've seen it a couple times at different places, bro. Yeah, yeah, where I worked at, bro. The people that don't do the best work, don't do the most work, don't have the best attitude are the ones that are like, oh, fuck, they're only giving me this much. That's what I'm going to give them. Mm. You get me? We got to think about that. Well, that's uh, I mean, that's that's basically on them, and those people you shouldn't really worry about. Those type of people, that's you should I'm just saying. worry about yourself. So, well, best advice you can give to uh, to someone that's working and is trying to level up is just focus on yourself. Yeah. Don't focus on others. Focus, look, focus on the craft of your work, you know, and how you work. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure you'll know when you deserve a raise or not, obviously, and they'll be obviously. and they'll be scared to yeah. to ask for that raise. I read this thing, bro, because it's like over there in school, bro. Since because you know community college, bro, you see eighteen year olds, you see twenty five year olds, you see thirty year olds, forty year olds, fifty year olds, and they broke see us a down. Milf, bro. You be surprised, bro. Be surprised, and you be seeing like, and then they broke us down. So they put all the millennials, they put all the you know generations, you know all the weird. You know, and um, we had to get facts from millennials. And then I guess the millennials are not afraid to ask for raises. They're not afraid to ask the hey, how they're doing. Yeah, I heard. Well, well, what I heard about millennials is that they're after after college, the first job they get interviewed. That's the basically the first mm-hmm. job they want. They're uh, they're too like they're too af- they don't really know what their worth really is, and they don't understand the concept of, like, look, like, this job is paying me low as fuck, but I'll, I'm going to take that job because I was student you know, then, and I'm already trying to pay it off. They don't really value themselves as, like, as, like, as more, like, of importance, bro. Because, like, there's a lot of statistic out yeah. there, bro, that the first, like, all right, I'm out of college, I need a job, I got to pay out this debt right away. Yeah. So they get the first job. Instead of searching and searching and, like, all right, which job uh, gives the most amount of money? Uh, where can I be more comfortable? They don't check for that. They just, the first job they get, if they even ca- can find a job yeah. with the shitty degree they even get. Cause I that's, hearing, that's, that's, that's what yeah. I've seen. Because I heard the fact, because uh, what I saw, bro, and I read, bro, millennials don't get a good reputation, bro. Yeah, millennials are getting they're shit saying talking that to. They want, they're saying that we, we spend seven bucks, because I'm a millennial. So that, but I'm one of those those the younger millennials. I'm not the yeah, older. You're the last. Bro. You're the you're the last generation yeah. of the millennials. Yeah, that we're all hipsters. That we're all um, no ninety seven is bro. Ninety seven is seven. No ninety eight is no. No no no, it's uh, ninety six. That's the last. Oh, you're you're ninety six right? Yeah, I'm ninety six. So I'm guessing yeah, and they're saying that um, 
that we're that are, we're hipsters you guys are that lazy, we, you we guys spend are, eight dollars on nice coffees that we avocado uh, toast avocado toast that we're bougie you guys that are fucking weird that we we live the life that our income does not provide for you get me you get that concept I, right? I understand that and I feel like that's true that might be true and it's that might be true for a lot of them yeah. you know and it's funny because it's like. But what I read, the facts. It's funny, bro. It's, it's <laughs> funny, bro, because it's like that's a because yeah. I know a lot of people that are like that, yeah. bro, and I know a lot of millennials that are hipsters, and yeah. it's funny because it's like uh, you guys with your non-binary genders and all that shit, your fucking body yeah. positivity, whatever, whatever, shit. The, whatever, whatever it is, and it's like, but I some shit that I was hearing, bro, that millennials ask for raises, bro, that millennials talk to their supervisors and they say like, hey, you know what? How can I make this or like I don't deserve a raise, or you know, but, they're not but, scared to talk about that. But bro. millennials are the ones that are in the most debt for college. Well, that's why they want to raise, bro, to pay their fucking college tuition off, bro. And it takes them a shitload of years just to pay it off, bro. Because the thing is, let's go back with the majors, bro. What? Me and you, we talked about good majors too, yeah. And what are they? Well, the good, like the accounting, bro. You know, yeah. like a fucking. Engineers. Accounting, bro. Engineers. What it is like? IT. If, if you want to go to a vocational school, you want to be a plumber. You want to be an electrician. You want to mm. be a fucking. Some construction jobs, bro, have unions, bro. Yeah. A lot of these people don't know what a union is, bro. Yeah. Like if if your job has a union, bro, you're fucking. You got. If benefits. you you got fucking four one k. You got a fucking. You got a pension. You got. You know a pension when you retire, bro. Yeah. You know. Let's say you go in there when you're twenty, bro. Let's say when you get, you're blessed and you go in yeah. there when you're 19, 18. And um, the thing is, is that we talked uh, we talked about this earlier. A lot of blue collar jobs are being, uh, they're not being fulfilled, right? Because mm-hmm. everyone wants to be a fucking uh, Chicano study major. Everyone mm-hmm. wants to be an English teacher, English major and all that yeah. shit. But they, they need these blue collar jobs, bro. We yeah. got to allocate, you know, we got to, a lot of people got to fulfill these positions. We, we got to just be like, you know what? Just by looking at some of you motherfuckers, like you, guys, some of you guys are gonna go be plumbers. That's it. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Let's all take Honestly, these motherfuckers bro, and you guys are gonna hey, be plumbers. Fucking, huh? Like, hey, fucking little David, you're a plumber, bro. That's Straight it, up. bro. And there's people that if I know some people, and I know like sometimes you feel like you're not good, you're not good at, at school because you rather be hands on. If you're the type of person that like, nah, I rather be hands on, bro. A trade is a so trade, perfect yeah. for you. For a trade, you, yeah. If you want to work with your hands, bro, electrician, plumbing, bro, yeah, these jobs, uh, uh, the reputation of like, oh, that's a trade, you know, I'm not going to make a lot of money, but I dude, know. there's a, yeah, that can is I, true. Can, can I talk, bro? Yeah, can yeah, I, can yeah. I talk? All right, these jobs are characterized as like blue collar jobs, bro, and like the, the shit is, is that these, uh, these, these jobs, bro, people are making 80,000 to 100,000 <laughs> and people don't see that. Nah, and don't. also, uh, doctors, uh, there's a right now. There's a lot of there's a lot a lot of uh, uh, chicks that are, that are not making. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> let me talk, bro. Let me talk. Fuck, it sound like they're, a lawnmower. <laughs> but, hey, but I'm, I'm spinning facts, bro. That is true. But, though. but check this out. Yeah. There's a lot of like chicks that get majors, right? They're like, oh, I gotta marry someone in the same uh, so and so, someone that went to school or same major, yeah. bullshit like that. But there's dudes that are doing well in these trades, bro. But. But these chicks are like, nah, he's doing plumbing. Marry a plumber. I'm not gonna marry a plumber. Fuck that. Oh yeah. my god, you know. I'm gonna marry a fucking. I want to marry a doctor. Yeah, and it's like, bro, these doctors don't want you. What the nah. fuck, the fuck, you know. And it's um, and it's funny because it is true, bro. Another good trade, bro. Like you said, hands on and all that shit, mm. bro. What I was looking at is uh, diesel, bro. Working on diesel trucks, bro. Yeah. Warehouses are always gonna be available, bro. Who's going to transport to the warehouses, bro? Truck drivers. Truck drivers. What's a truck? It's a, it's a diesel fucking truck, well, What's bro? a truck driver? A fat motherfucker. That's <laughs> that's what a truck driver is. Not every not every truck driver's fat, though. Bro, you know what's kind of weird, bro? But they all got a stench. They all got, they, they all got a stench, yeah, bro. Yeah, they smell like they shit, all, bro. They all have a stench, bro. Bro, let me put that statistic out there, bro. You can search it up online. Uh, 89% of truck drivers smell like shit. You know, <laughs> I, want <to> say, <laughs> I want to say like look it time. up, look it up, guys. Yeah. You know, you didn't hear, you didn't hear, you, you heard it from here, and I'm pretty sure. L- l- look it up online. A lot of people that deal, bro. If you're a truck driver, you know it's true, bro. You know it's, it's true. like you're sleep deprived, you're shower deprived, you're fucking eating fast food, bro. Your odors are just like, dude. 
You smell like ass, bro. And then what about the, and then some of the people, you know, I'm not trying to bag or anything, but the Middle Eastern people, the ones that don't use deodorant, that's bro, they're, racist, dog. they're stench, up, they're stench, <laughs> they're stench are on some other, their yeah. stench is spicy, bro. It hits you in your nose and you get a little tingle, bro. Yeah. And it, a lot of truckers, bro, you know, if people say a lot of police officers are bad, I could say a lot of truck drivers smell like shit, bro. Yeah, because it's like, it's, uh, that's our opinion, bro. We work there. We've seen it statistically. We, me and you, we've worked with truck drivers, bro. Yeah. Oh, also too, like there was a truck driver, bro. And like I was surprised too. I'm like, damn, bro, uh, this truck driver was this was buff, bro. And I'm like, no way. I'm like, nah, hell, nah. He wasn't uh, whipping a truck. He was probably whipping like one of those little those bobtails or some shit. Took, uh, he was a truck driver, bro. And I'm like, that's kind of weird, bro. I and mean, it doesn't add up. All these truck drivers, they gotta be fat, you know. You, you know what's funny? Chubby. It's like. There was this girl in my sociology class, and she was telling everyone that she did a, a study with her truck driver uncle, and she drove around with him, and she said that every fucking day it was different fast food. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it, too, And bro. she said that he used to be a, like a basic dude, and since he was a truck driver, he got fat. He started becoming like, health problems. Those heart problems, those fucking high cholesterol bro and it's like it's funny because we are we've it's not funny it's fucking sad bro when we see these truck drivers bro we have um in our entrance at our dc mm-hmm. we have um these steps they're like four steps bro me and you have jumped them like fucking around bro we've jumped well, i even probably kick flipped over it once yeah, bro fucking on my uh, skateboard one time <laughs> and i just kick flipped over it bro <laughs> fucking imagine you're just skating around the warehouse just doing kick flips and shit they're like what the fuck Remember that one truck driver that had a bike and you were riding his bike? <laughs> oh, yeah. This, something like when I unload trucks, because sometimes uh, they have like weird shit in there, bro. Last time some food had like his own power jack, bro. Yeah. His own, uh, his own forklift in there, bro. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to unload it with this fucking, with his forklift because it's brand new. Because our forklifts suck cock, bro. They're yeah. old, outdated. They just suck cock. They're not, the company's not providing good yeah. forklifts, bro. But that's another story, man. That's a different, that's a different topic that we'll get yeah. into. But this dude, this truck driver, in his truck he had a bike bro and this dude only had like a little bit of pallets to unload bro yeah so i had time to kill bro so i was just riding his bike all around bro everyone was just hating on you yeah everyone was just straight hating bro and like also too there wasn't a lot of work that day yeah it was a it friday was, yeah i'm guessing it was a friday right it was a it, it was indeed it was a friday bro just have a good time bro ride a bike got a little bit of exercise can't complain on that yeah thing. but it's like a lot of these truck drivers bro they they have to check in right with our with our they have to check in and sometimes they park their trucks far. Yeah. So this dude would drive his bike to yeah. where, where the front office is, check in, and they'll ride back. Yeah. I seen him one time, bro. When I was working as a security, security guard for for six months, I seen him, I think, two times, bro. On his bike? He rode his he bike. He checks it on yeah, his bike? he rode That's his bike, dope. bro. And then, like, he gave me the paperwork and all that, and I checked him in, and he was wearing a helmet, too, bro. That shit, that shit <laughs> dude, funny, bro. I'm like, I'm like, I told him, like, traite la bike, or was like, see? <laughs> and it's funny because it's like what about the old security guard that used to be security guard right there before you bro the one that got beat up oh, fucking yeah. uh but that's another story we'll talk yeah. about and um he would drive a skateboard around and like wake up truck drivers oh yeah this dude fucking kick flips yeah know? so it's like this dude was it's like you got to make the most of something you know yeah if if you guys uh are trying to like get hired or if you guys are trying to find work, something that's always hiring is a security guard. Security you know? guard. Some jobs that you could get into quick, bro, and you don't need no fucking experience, bro. What's up? What is it, Joe? Security guard. What yeah, else but is you got to get your guard card. Yeah, but that's, what the fuck does it take to... 200 bucks. Yeah, but what does it take to be a guard? Nothing. Nothing. Just a... Uh, so security guard. Fucking warehouse. Warehouse worker. And um, those agency, those Pretty agency. Sure you guys know, so. Oh, you guys as well the know. Viewers, you guys are well aware where fucking agencies. And then another one was um, what was it? It was like the uh, the oil rigs or some shit like that. I heard it's starting to get harder to get into. Because back back a couple years ago, bro, everyone was getting in there, bro. But now because everyone's there making good money, yeah, everyone's, everyone's like, oh, we're not just gonna hire like, anyone. Oh my now. god, I want to be a oil rigger. Yeah. Now. They so make it's a lot like, of money. So it's like those those three jobs are like something that you could just get in there, bro. Start, you know, and especially a warehouse, bro. That's the one that you don't need no experience, bro. Everyone, that's that's where you see fresh out of high school people. That's where you see felons. That's where you see everyone, bro. Yeah, if you're trying to get a layback job, bro, get a be a security guard, but get that get it nice shit, cause no one really checks up on you. Yeah. 
Nice shit. And you're just chilling, bro. Read a book. Read a little finance, economics book. Fucking uh, a book that can provide value in your life. Motherfuckers ain't reading that. Motherfuckers are reading like fucking hentai on a book and shit. Uh, you disguise it with the economics book on top. Now that we're talking about work, I wanted to get into a topic, bro. All right, bro. Depends on what topic, bro. It depends on any fucking topic I want to talk about, bro. Damn, this, bro. Is, this is a... Uh, we have a feisty one, guys. We have a, 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 du- a dumb one. blonde. I feel like a like fucking... I feel like one of those little feminists at a rally, bro. What is it, bro? All right, bro. If I have a juice at work, mm. and I save that juice for the next yeah, day, bro. Someone steals it. Someone steals it, bro. And I know... I know we've all felt this, bro. Everyone working at a warehouse, everyone working mm-hmm. somewhere, bro. You, someone steals your shit. Dude, some motherfucker took my monster away one one time, bro. So, we'll, so we'll, you know, like, well, what do you got to say about that, bro? Like, I've, I've, I, at that job that I've been there for three years, bro, I've had a monster stolen mm-hmm. from me, my juice stolen from me, my lunch stolen from me, bro. Bro, you gotta check the cameras, bro. You gotta go with the security guy and be like, "Hey, some little fucking dirty ass kid took it, stole my lunch, bro." That monster one, I didn't believe it, bro. Like we were, I was like, "What the heck?" Yeah, the monster was like right, right where the printing machine was, and like it's weird because like the only, the only person that could steal it would be one of my guys. One of your you friends, know? bro. One of your coworkers, yeah. bro. Just backstabbed you, bro. Yeah. So it's like, what, what kind of like, what do you gotta say to those people that are just stealing lunches? And it's funny because it's like. And that shit happens a lot too. Bro. That happens a lot at warehouses, bro. Like people, like you have something good, bro, and they'll be like, "Oh, that fuck." Hating ass right? dudes. Like, what do you got to say to those people, bro? Like, there's no man. If I ever seen someone like uh, like trying to steal my lunch, bro, and I'm actually watching, dude, I'm gonna beat your ass, bro. I'm not even gonna tell like the. I'm not even gonna tell HR, bro. I'm I'm <laughs> seriously gonna beat your ass, bro. Cause it's and, like, and I'm pretty sure they're not gonna fire me, bro, cause because you're stealing my fucking lunch, bro. That's so much disrespect you could do to another person. They steal another person's fucking steal another lunch, person's bro. lunch, bro. And I'll beat your ass, bro. I swear to God, man. Because it's like, bro, you're you're like you, you know, like I, this is your food, yeah, bro. Yeah, this is like, your monster. This is your red roll. This is something that you bought, and it's like it's it's fucked up because there's people stealing lunch. Yeah, because check this out, guys. My mom makes me my lunch, bro. And if someone tries to like steal my sopes, you know, my enchiladas, my beans, bro. I swear to God, I'm throwing hands, bro. Fucking, and you have to, hands, bro. bro. It's fucking hands down, like yeah. like that's disrespectful as fuck, bro. Like you know. And it's like I just wanted to get in this topic, bro, because it's like what things, what are the worst characteristics you gotta of someone be... that you that you work with, bro? Yeah. Like what are what are some that are it's like, dude? Once they do that, you're like, fool, this motherfuckers. Like you, you gotta step away from me, bro. Yeah, you can't. Like, really I think trust stealing that, lunch is probably number one. Yeah, you gotta be a devious fucking character to be you stealing lunches. You gotta be lunches. a devious ass dude, yeah. bro. Well, what are other freaking characteristics you, that you can name off that are just like, dude, when, when someone does that, you're like, nah, bro, this motherfucker. What about sneezing? Just sneezing like that. Like you're driving a pallet jack and this food just sneezes. It doesn't cover nothing, bro. Yeah, that's, uh, well, that's a dirty ass. Now we're just characterizing dirty ass motherfuckers, bro. Well, I'm you guessing know? we work with some dirty ass motherfuckers, bro. I guess we do, bro. And I'm not surprised, you know. It's, uh, yeah. Well, you could tell a lot of people don't want to be there. A lot right? of people do not want to be there, but it's like there's work a work is work, man. There's a lot of things that and people don't understand, but work is work, bro. And a lot of people don't understand that, bro. I feel like the top ones that are like that bug me, bro, is stealing your lunch, bro. Um, fucking stealing your lunch, fucking not. If you have some dirty ass shoes in your locker, bro, take them out, bro. Go wash them, bro. You know, like have you have you gone inside the locker, bro? Dude, the, it smells like dick cheese in there, bro. Yeah, it's terrible in there, bro. It's bad hygiene, bro. It's fucking bad hygiene, and, bro. And, and check this out, guys. Um, all right. So at work, I'm pretty sure you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys have experienced this because our where we work is kind of filthy. For our lunchroom, uh, where you eat your food, you expect it to like, like smell like a fucking lunchroom, right? But our lunchroom smells like fucking ass. It smelled like ass one day, bro. It did. I think it, it was like, like Friday or something, bro. No, it was a Thursday because we went to Jack, bro. You little oh, yeah, fat yeah, yeah, animal. Yeah, it, it was Thursday, bro. Yeah. I went to Jack and I got a chicken sandwich, guys, all right? Cut me some slack. And um, check this out, bro. And the next day on Friday, bro, I, I tried to like, eat my lunch again, bro. And it smelled like that? No, those motherfuckers were painting, bro. Like, you think I'm going to be eating, you know, I'm going to be munching on my, my, quesadilla, my quesadillas, you know? And I'm going to be smelling fucking paint while I'm eating, bro? They don't like, have bro, no... Hor- 
people are fucking stupid, bro. People are delusional. People are just out of their goddamn fucking mind these days. People bro. just don't respect other people's boundaries. Yeah, bro. I'm, bro, I'm bro. trying to eat my lunch, bro. I think I brought chicken and rice that day, bro, and can't even enjoy that with a can't fucking eat. zero calorie coke. Can't even with your fucking <laughs> your pussy ass monster, dude. What is that about to do? Fucking uh, zero, zero calories, and it's like a lot of people at work do not have consideration into anything, bro. They just don't give a fuck. And like they I just said, don't bro, give a fuck. if you don't want to be there, bro, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna give a fuck what you're doing with your yeah. actions right there. But I feel street. like the top pet peeve at a we- at a warehouse at any job, bro, is just stealing someone else's lunch, bro. Hmm. Stealing someone else's lunch, bro, is probably one of the biggest pet peeves, bro. Yeah, let's uh let's kind of transition into the concept of uh, is I feel like debt is worse. I feel like debt is worse than death because some people they just work to pay off things. To pay off things, yeah. Let's say you got an expensive ass house payment, mm-hmm. you got an expensive ass car payment, mm-hmm. you got a family you got to take care of, and you're just working just to fucking die one day, just to pay off that debt. So you're basically a soul that's soulless and you're just working and your soul's out of your body. For, you're not, you're not working reality, for nothing not no more. You're nothing, just working bro. to pay off that fucking shit you owe. But so you're basically it, dead already, bro. But then it's like a lot of people fuck up, bro, because it's like they got a good job and they don't know how to act, bro. They start getting a fucking brand new BMW. They start getting a fucking big, a big ass, ass house. house. A fucking, they buy their wife a gold chain. They buy their kid a fucking... ATV and you know and all those payments add up at the end and you're barely breaking even it's yeah. like you didn't get no promotion and I feel like being in debt is just worse than fucking death now bro it's like what are you living for now you're practically dead already bro you're practically like like what's you're not doing fun shit in your life no more cause you can't really can cause you're just working just to just pay working, off all that bro. stupid shit yo and people got to become more... more um, it's because a lot of people got to be told, you know what, bro? You don't need that shit. A lot of... Uh, what, what I kind of want high schools to start doing is that teaching kids how to manage money. And what I hate about high school is that these motherfuckers, bro, they automatically want you to go to fucking college, bro. They automatically want you to uh, take out loans, bro, and, uh, and, and go to college, bro. I swear to God, bro, I feel like... Like, if you can't do... I'm pretty sure we talked about this, bro. And we're going to talk about it again because it keeps on happening. If you look, if you go to a college you can't afford, it's like you're basically like, you're basically fucking yourself over, bro. Taking out student loans, getting a major, like, it depends on the major too, bro. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. And you're basically going to a, an expensive ass university, bro, just to get a shitty ass major, get a shitty ass job later down the road. It's like, damn, bro, might as well just go to community college. Be yeah. less in debt and get that shitty job later down the road. But it's like if you could also do like other things, like you know, ask for like not for grants, but it's like get a fucking full page scholarship, yeah. you know, some and sort of good, scholarship. Bro. If you know money to school, that's if good. If you fucking if you know how to play soccer, well, fucking go to school to go play. You know, go to school, like you know, go to school, play your soccer, get a free ride, you know, a sports ride, yeah. bro. Pick a, a true major, bro, uh, yeah. a good major. Yeah. But, like, the thing that I don't like about high school is that those who force you, bro, and, like... Well, it's like they, they tell just, you, like, you want a good job, you want to make good money, bro, go be a fucking... Go to school. They kind of school you, too. They kind of, like, tell you, too, bro. Like, uh... Maybe it's just a like big-ass conspiracy, bro. If you, don't, if you don't go to college, then what are you going to do? Yeah. What are you going to do? What they are you going to do? Bro. That is true, bro. But what they don't understand is that some kids are just not made for college. Some kids, uh... Some kids would rather, like I said, bro, do a trade, you know, mm-hmm. become a plumber, become this, become something different. Yeah, but they don't, they don't tell you that, bro. They just try to peer pressure yeah, you they, into like going to school. They automatically, to they, automatically, when they want to send you to school and take out loans, bro, that's when they should draw the line and be like, look, all right, school's out of the picture. What do you want to do? Do you want to join the army? Do you want to uh, start a business? Uh, do you want to work for? Do you want to work for four years, then figure out what do you want to do when you go back to school? And so people, uh, another good advice that I could give to to young individuals uh, getting out of high school is that, let's say if uh, you really, you don't know what you want to go to school for, then get then, then work for a couple of years, save up some money, and go back and go, go to the, uh, the, the major, study for the major you want to do. Once you had some time off, you kind of experience two different type of jobs. You kind of know what you want to do yeah. now. It's like... You know the hardships of working a shitty ass job. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you want to do as your career? Mm-hmm. And it's better to it better start a career when you're. It's better to go to school when you're like 
22, 23, when you figure out what do you want to do in life. You're what more could, mature. What, yeah, you're more mature. Because some people are just going to school just to just to go to school because either their parents are forcing them or they just want to, like, did, you're going to do the general ed. Don't get me wrong, bro, but what like you don't know what you want to study, so you're, you're just going down paths that don't make sense, right? Yeah, and you're, clueless. Like you're, just, you're just doing stuff just because other people want you to do, you know? It's like some some people I know out there, bro, go to school because their parents tell them to go to school. Yeah. Or they, they don't put wanna, the pressure on them, you they, know? They don't They don't really want to let they their parents really, down, bro. They, well, no one wants to let their parents down, but yeah. it's like a lot of these people, I feel like that's a good, that's a good, you know, work for two years, bro. Yeah. Work for two years, work somewhere, you know? It's like no one's going to know until, no one knows the worth of a dollar until they earn it, you get me? They earn it, they grind, and they see what the grind is, bro. And they see, like, you know, fuck, do I really want to be here? Nah, bro, I got to go see what I want to do. And that's when you start looking at, you know what? I want to be a plumber, or hey, I want to be a fucking yeah, doctor. Or I want to be a real estate agent. Fucking, I want to be those people that film the porn videos and shit. Like, something, bro, you don't know. So it's like, yeah. photography, yeah, it's exactly. Like, hey, like, I want to be a porn star, you know? I want to. How can you be a How can you be the best porn star, bro? You know, it's for a girl. <laughs> yeah. like, how can you be it? Like, you know, it's. It's stuff like that, bro. You gotta, you gotta. I feel like it's a great idea, bro. It's a great oh, idea. Oh, I want to be a stripper. I'm like, all right, go on ahead, go for How it. Can you, yeah. You're gonna have a lot of good upper body. You're gonna have to fucking be doing some crazy shit. And it's like, work around the way with a pole. Work around your way with a pole. Practice. Get a pole in the in your garage. Practice. Yeah, save up. Save up. Save up for just fucking yeah. Practice, man. Just practice. Practice makes perfect. If you want to be a stripper, be the best stripper. Want to be the police officer? Be the best police officer. Be the best in whatever you want to do. Yeah, and I feel like just pressuring students like those fucking stupid ass teachers, bro. And I'm pretty sure I had some in high school too, bro. Oh, I had plenty of. Shout them. out to uh, that that one. I don't really call him stupid because I'm not really gonna bash on him because I feel kind of like the thick homie. No, no, no. That's a uh, what's that Stafford, bro? Stafford was. I, no, it's after suffer school, bro. Yeah. Ah, but there's some. There was some professor named Sal. He kind of knocked some sense into into me. Hmm. He kind of told me what's up, you know, gave me some advice, you know. But they're just. I don't like how you just pressure students to like. All right, either either you're gonna go to college, or you're gonna be a failure. I think he said that one time, bro. And that's uh, to me, that's I don't find that to be cool. You know, I don't find that to be like accurate. He said that. That's yeah, funny, yeah, yeah it's like... I think he said that. Yeah. That's fine. Like we rather go to school, we rather work a, a, a like a like a, a dumb job, you know. We rather fucking shit like that, bro. But and what about the people that own the business? You know, what about yeah. the people that, like that was? Yeah, I feel like that teacher was probably like a good teacher and all that shit. But I feel like that what he just said right now was just yeah, yeah, the stupidest yeah. shit yeah, I've ever that, heard. That's what I don't really agree with these high school yeah. students that just pressure students into going to college, taking out loans. I remember too. one time a teacher I was fucking around so much that a teacher was like, "Whoa, you want to keep messing around? Not graduate high school, mow lawns for the rest of your life?" But the people that actually have businesses that, that mow lawns probably yeah. make more than that teacher. Yeah. Indeed. And it's funny. I don't know why I had to mow lawns. Like, mm-hmm. is it because I'm brown? Maybe, huh? <laughs> I'm racist. Was she a little racist? Maybe. They yeah, start a movement, bro. Started Got a lot of people. Huh? I'm pretty sure they'll join. They'll join. People. Just tell them that story. Cry a little bit on the news. And hopefully yeah. they jump on my boat. Oh, my God. They just told this fucking fat Mexican. <laughs> this, this, this fat cute Mexican kid. A fucking, he's going to mow lawns for mm. the rest of his life. Mm. And it was oh like, my god, it's at, on it's on CNN. At first, I really CNN like exploits it, yeah. say that the teacher beat me up too. <laughs> <laughs> it touched them too. She fucking, she fucking touched my butt and shit. And it's funny because it's like, bro, she actually said that to me. She actually said, "What you want to mow lawns for the rest of your life?" And I'm like, first of all, like I don't even think I have one single uncle that works mowing yeah. lawns. But I was like, hey. a lot of a lot of Mexicans they do a lot of yard work. Bro, but let's say you shit. let's say let's say um, they have a little small businesses. A little small business. They start getting their clients. That client refers them to another client. He legally gets his permits now. He legally could do everything good. He gets a nice truck. That's a business, bro. That's a business. And how much is he making? And that's what they don't teach you in high school, bro. They don't teach you how to like start businesses. Because a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs say that school is not for the entrepreneurs, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, just because you don't go to college, bro, doesn't mean you can't be successful in, in, in life. Bro. And the same thing goes, just because you go to college doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Yeah, definitely, bro. Definitely. And you're spot on with that, bro. Spot on. It's how you use it's how you, it's how you use your major and your capabilities of studying that subject into the real world, bro. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you know, many people that work for other people for, for a shitload of years, four or five, six, once they get to learn about the business, bro. 
they find flaws in the business where they can improve on. That's why many people, they start their own businesses in that same realm, in that same fucking field. Like I said, right? They mm-hmm. find, uh, they don't find loopholes, but they find uh, uh, shit that's wrong that they could improve. Yeah. That's a good thing because you always want to look at things you can improve the company in, bro. But but sometimes the boss is like, bro, this is my company. You know, yeah. sometimes the boss is... So sometimes the boss like doesn't let you like fix those shit. They don't so really that, care about that's it. that's when you get your own ideas. You start yeah. you start a notebook. You get all the ideas, and when you save up money and you save up your whatever you got to do, you have a couple people that will ride for you and would move yeah. with you. And that's what happens. You right? go make yeah. your own company, bro. And now those ideas that maybe he wasn't making as much money because he didn't follow your rules. Now you have your own business and you're following your rules. You're making more than that company. Yeah. That's what happens, bro. And that's good, bro. My hat, my hat goes off to them. People like that, bro. Yeah. yeah. The the fucking how can you explain those people those are the people that are like next level shit yeah. next level shit bro cause it's like these people are always like how can I improve the company how can I do this yeah. how can I do that you know except of doing this we should do that it's gonna cost you know a little bit more but it's gonna be worth it at all the run you uh I know you guys did your taxes uh with a lady that was doing them in the garage yeah she was doing them in the garage and that's funny cause she had like a fucking she had so many clients bro it wasn't even funny bro yeah like I said, bro, I'm well. I'm pretty sure when I get my my licenses for for my certification for taxing, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys, you, you motherfuckers, are gonna come with me now, you know. I'm that's still her clients. That's you know? that's debatable. <laughs> that's but, bold for you to even say. But that. hey, man, I gotta say it, bro, because I'm gonna get that shit. You know, I'm gonna yeah. get the certification. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the but also what I want, what I kind of wanted to touch upon is that people get these majors and they don't really. Uh, they don't really want to start businesses, but there's, once you work for, you know, five years, ten years, bro, you see, like, the the shit that you can improve in, in mm-hmm. the company. So people create their own shit, bro. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. I yep. feel like, like, you were kept talking, bro. I feel like, dude, if you know how to do something, bro, and just start your own business, bro. Yeah. Don't be scared to start your own business, It's hard, bro. bro. Like we said tell many times but yeah. it's not easy man. no it ain't nothing ever gonna be easy bro and i know a lot of people are gonna be scared to start their own business because they're already so comfortable with the money they're making here that they'll rather feel comfortable making the money here than risk it and fail than fucking just be like nah you know what bro fuck yeah. it i'm not with that you know sure. also we kind of want the viewers to start sending in questions about their life stories whatever's happening in their life yeah. so Learn let's say events, bro. yeah yeah it could be current events too. Just anything around the viewers. We want to learn more about you guys, about the subscribers, what you're going through. You know, we, uh, we I'm gonna start leaving my my Gmail mm-hmm. down in the description, so you guys could send in personal Gmails. You guys could tailor tailor how the whatever the fuck you guys want. But we're gonna name your, we're gonna leave your name disclosed. Yeah, disclosed. Uh, we're gonna we want to give advice to you know young guys. So we give advice about like the car thing, about getting a new car versus getting a a, a beater, yeah. right? So we want you guys to send in questions about any type of advice you know that we could answer. Anything, bro. Anything, because later on we're gonna start charging for that shit, right, guys? We're gonna start a business off of that too. We're gonna start mentoring people, and that's that's gonna be our business. It's yeah, like, and later if you, on, if you're having girlfriend problem, boyfriend problem, fucking let us know in the fucking yeah. comments, bro. Pick up our shit too, right, Jose? Yeah, fucking, <laughs> we're gonna be everything, bro. We're gonna be everything, bro. That's how businesses are made. <laughs> you need a tuna, <laughs> fucking go to, and it's like it's cool. It's like, bro, whatever you guys are going through, yeah. boyfriend, girlfriend problem, like fucking advice, advice, bro. We're yeah, here. Yeah. Send in those questions. I want to read them, man. I want to read them for the podcast. We're gonna, me, Jose, are gonna try our best to answer the, your guys' specific questions, bro. And if it's relatable towards us, bro, we can help you guys out, bro. If not, we'll get someone that is more well yeah. aware in that, bro. Yeah, we yeah, know yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, we know a lot of people. We'll bring them in as special guests, right? And we'll, we'll try to help you guys out the best we can. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be it for today's podcast. We're over the hour mark, the hour and 13 minute mark. Mm-hmm. It was a good episode, guys. And we want feedback. Whatever you guys feel about the podcast, we can improve on. Send it down in the comments down below. Yeah, send in the comments or just or send down or, or send down um, whatever topics you all you guys want us to cover. 
or the questions. I want most importantly, I want the fucking yeah, questions, the questions, right? And then uh, don't be sending dick pics either, motherfuckers, because I know some of you hey, guys are gonna get some you ideas. You send that shit. We're gonna critique the, your dick, all right? <laughs> we're gonna be like, that shit's too fucking small, or or we're gonna tell you you should be a fucking porn star. It's either you shouldn't, or. You shouldn't be that plumber. You should be that fucking porn star because you got a, a big rod, you know, a big rod. You fucking you hanging pure meat in there, right? Yeah, bro. <laughs> You'd be chorizo packing we'll in there, bro. We'll, <laughs> hey, we'll display that shit on YouTube, bro. <laughs> Imagine on our cover page on our video. Video, bro, we're just gonna have your chorizo just hanging out, yeah, but it's like, yeah, just let us know, you know, different yeah. topics, different things, bro. You yeah. know, things that are going on, movements that are happening right now. Shit, we'll, we'll give you our critique, we'll give you our personal yeah. um, opinion. And if you don't feel like it's the same as yours, well, don't yeah, debate us in the fucking comments. Yeah, debate. Below. So send in the fucking question, guys, all right? Or, or else we're going to go to Reddit and we're going to start reading some of those, all right? We're going to start helping fucking foods from Reddit, yeah. bro. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to start helping foods at fucking, you know, foods on Reddit instead of you guys, all right? So take advantage of that shit because later on we're going to charge fucking a million dollars for each fucking question, man. Fucking a million dollars. All right. You got to give one. us your first newborn. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Stay safe and we're out.